I want to talk to you today about setting up your J-Links. To begin, J-Links starts by going to Utilities and Company Setup. Now, in Company Setup, you want to make sure that there are five things listed in order for your J-Links to work correctly. You have your company name, and you're going to choose this from the drop-down. You can actually just go up here and start typing. Click on the one that it matches. When you do that, it pulls in your NAIC code. Over here, we're going to say what location it belongs to, the company type, whether it's an insurance company or a broker. We're going to say insurance company, whether you're appointed, and then the website that you use to access that company. We also need your agency code right here. Once you have those things put in company setup, it's going to be a breeze to set up J-Links. So I'm going to hit Control W, and I'm going to set up a company. I'm going to choose the one that I just set up, which is Auto Owners. And if you'll notice, this is for location one. I'm the user. My agency code that was put in company setup came over, and the web address came over. All I have to do is enter my username and password to access Auto Owners Insurance. Now, if I have credentials that are not shared, at this point, I can create a copy of all my J-Links to a new user, copy this J-Link for a current user, and I can create a copy of this J-Link for all users. So if you're going in and you're basically starting up J-Links from scratch, you can go in and you can copy this to all users. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say create a copy of this J-Link for all users. Yes. All right, it said to see you now, show all users. And as you can see, it created a copy for all my staff. Now, all they have to do is go in J-Links and fill in their credentials. Once that has been done, then each person would log into their J-Links. I would go here, and I'm going to create a copy of my auto owners. Um, I'm going to say my username is, and my password is this. All right, now once I have my username set up and my password, I'm going to click here and I'm going to create a copy for all locations. This is if you have more than one location. If you're just one location, you move on to the next company. But if you do have more than one location and you access auto owners at all locations, then you would create a copy of this J-Link for all locations. Now it says it's done it. I'm going to go down here and show all my locations. And there's my login for location one, location two, location three. So if I go back, I'm going to add another one. And this time we're going to have shared credentials. So if I go and I'm going to say, I'm going to go right here, location one, and I'm going to choose peak property and casualty. As you can see, my agency code for location one came over with the web address. I'm going to put in my username and password. Um, that's my username and my password is this. Now, if we share credentials, I can just go right ahead, click over here, create a copy of this J-Link for all users. Yes. And it says it's been done. So all I have to do is show all users, and there's Peak. Now, if we share our logins for Dairyland, and it's for all the locations that you have, again, you just follow the process. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to create a copy of this J-Link for all locations. And if I show all locations, there are my J-Links for Auto Owners and for Peak. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is if we show all users, see how it kind of it kind of gets hard to read. But the good thing about it is you can click on whatever location you would like up here at the top. If you click in that header, here are all my location threes, twos, and ones. I can do it by company, and it sorts them that way, or you can search A to Z. By user, 
I can look at all of Amy's J links, all of Genesis, all of Lisa, all of Sarah, all of Scott, agency codes, username. All you have to do is click on the headers and it will sort them for you. Makes it a whole lot easier to read. All right, you just follow this process and you add every company, add your users. Remember, the one thing that I wanted to stress to you is that JLink starts in company setup. Once you have your company set up correctly, then JLinks is a breeze. Another thing that I wanted to show you is if I want to check my JLinks to make sure that they were, you'll notice that the web logon, when I clicked in this box, the web logon lit up. That means that they are a company that partners with us regarding JLinks. Now, to see those companies, as you can see, I just clicked on this available companies down at the bottom, and you can see what companies partner with us for JLinks. However, if they don't partner with us, it's okay. As you can see, you can add all your companies, and I've added another one that is not a partner with us in JLinks. You can see when I clicked in this area over here, the web logon did not light up. That means that they're not a carrier, and that's all right. All I have to do is go over here, click on this website, and if it takes us to the website that we log on with, then it's set up correctly. If it does not take you to the website that you log on to access your company, then you're gonna to need to go to company setup and get the right web address put in your company setup. I hope this helps explain JLinks. If you have any questions, you can call us at 828-245-1171. Make sure that you like us and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thanks.